Hello, world. What's up, guys? This is Dave with the Fight Bananas Podcast. How's everyone doing out there? Uh, guys, today on the show, Macy Bro. Um, Island Fights 61, December 21st, it's going down. There's so much I want to talk to her about. Um, it's just, it's incredible. She's definitely a hot prospect in female mixed martial arts and can't wait for her, uh, what, what her plans are for 2020. Uh, I want to talk to her about her meal prep, female MMA, her goals, talk to uh, about some of her past. Uh, can't wait. Macy Bro coming on the show, Fight Bananas podcast. Um, don't want to waste your time or mine. Let's get Macy on the line. All right, guys. Macy Bro on the Fight Bananas podcast. How you doing, Macy? Great. Great. Very cool. Very cool. Um, first of all, how was your holidays? How was Thanksgiving? Uh, getting ready for uh, Christmas and all that good stuff? Yeah, um, Thanksgiving was good. Couldn't really enjoy the food, but I did enjoy time with, you know, company and stuff like that. Very but I'm um, looking forward to uh, Christmas. Very cool. Well, let's get into that right away. Um, so, talk to Dean Tool. This match was set up. It's so good, and I'll, we'll get into the whole fight of it, the whole MMA side of it. Uh, you versus Taylor White, Island Fight 61. Gosh, it's such a great, great fight. Can't wait um, but then, yeah, started following you, um, you know, doing this stuff for Fight Bananas. I'm like, okay, let's check out Macy Bro. And all I saw was amazing food pictures. And I was like, gosh, I'm like, what is she doing? This is great. And then to figure out, to find out that it's your stuff. It's the, you know, your meal prep. It's uh, Macy's Meal Prep.org. Everyone go check them out. If you're living out there in Louisiana, definitely follow Macy. Get that meal prep. How did you get into it? Um, you know, are you the one cooking it? It looks fantastic. Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, I started meal prepping for myself when I was in high school. And uh, I wouldn't eat school lunch. I would just uh, meal prep for myself. I started off, you know, just basic chicken and plain chicken and stuff like that. And I was like, man, there has to be a way to make all this food that I really want to eat healthy. Right. And then uh, I got into it. I started working at a gym and I started meal prepping for people and uh then I, I got into like the business side of it. Then uh, I was like, man, I need to do something to where I can train more and not have to work a normal job. Right. So I can do, you know, the fighting stuff. So I took on the meal prep full time. I actually uh, cook it all myself. And uh, yeah. Wow. That is awesome. That's a. Uh... That's a, a whole life in its own. That's a, a crazy job, career in its own meal prep. It's really hot right now. It's uh, definitely trending up. And especially if it tastes anything as good as it looks, uh, you definitely are, uh, you have a superstar right there, Macy Meal Prep. Definitely check that out on Instagram too, Macy's Meal. So uh, there you go. There's your plugs. <laughs> Thanks. No, uh, it looks really cool. But okay. Then, so Island Fight 61, December 21st, Pensacola, Florida. Um, how excited are you to fight for Island Fights? Let's kind of start with that and in Florida, and then we'll kind of get into Taylor White and just kind of how you got into mixed martial arts. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about the fight. So, uh, how that came about was I was supposed to fight, uh, two weekends ago in, uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Yep. And my opponent actually came in eight pounds heavy. So the fight was canceled and they were actually there. Uh, the Island Fight, uh, promoters were there. So, you know, I talked with them. Got my foot in the door, and I'm just ready to go because uh, my last two fights have actually fell through. So I'm just ready to get in there. You know, I know right. she's, you know, game opponent, and she's going to come in on weight. You know, we're it's going to be a good fight, fun it, fight. It's going to be a great fight. Um, I don't want to go too far. So right there, can you talk about that? It's one of kind of the not dirty secrets, but definitely a hard part of the fight game. Um, I've known people personally made eight hour trips, seven hour trips. Uh, of course they cut the weight. They don't, you know, it's a hard week, weight cutting week, all that noise. You show up at fight, uh, weight and you're on weight perfect. And your opponent is out of weight or your opponent doesn't even show up. I've seen that happen plenty of times on the amateur scene. How hard is it to do everything that you're supposed to do, but then your opponent, um, you know, something falls through with your opponent, injury, uh, weight, or just no show, they ghost. Yeah, I mean, it's really tough, especially, at, you know, amateur, because they're not accountable for, you know, anything. They don't really have that right. many penalties if they're not there, if they miss, you know, so that's why whenever you go pro, there's a lot more like you're accountable for this, you have a contract. So, of course, you know, I'm ready for that and ready for, you know, I have a fight coming up. There's for sure going to be a fight. 
Yes, uh, absolutely. Taylor White here in Port Orange, Florida, December 21st. That's going down. Cannot wait. Island Fight 61. Um, okay, so you kind of mentioned that pro word. Is that something in the near future you're looking to? Is that a goal? Is you have a timetable in your head or a, uh, you know, when you know, you know? I mean, I'm still, still young. You know, I'm just waiting on my coach to say, hey, you know, we're ready to go pro or not. Um, my last two fights that fell through, I wanted to actually judge myself and right. see, you know, where I stand. And, you know, I think this fight is going to be a good, you know, judgment to be like, hey, we're ready. Hey, we need to go back and work on this type deal. And you're fighting at a mid-city MMA? Yes. Very cool. Um, okay. So, you're, man, I, I I love your story. I love there's so many things about it. I can go with it. I just, it's fantastic. For one, you just said how young you were. I was like, when I, the same thing, looked you up and talked to you about it. It's like, wow, Macy's 23 years old. And yeah. then... You know, with you and I talking, you know, before the podcast, you have a son. Um, his name mm-hmm. is Holden. Yes, Holden. And how old is he? He's ten. He's ten. I was like, yes. you know, of course. And when you told me, I, I, same thing. You were like, oh, I would love to, you know, Holden, your son. That's awesome. I have two boys of my own. About to have two girls. I have twin girls on the way. Uh, literally, do any hour now. It's a uh, kind of very, very exciting over here at the Van Auken house. But uh, when you said that, I was like, man, that's just amazing. That's a great motivation factor for you. And uh, I know this, right? It's the dad strength. You have the mom strength. So how is it to be a mom, uh, mixed martial artist, meal plan expert? Like you have it all. Like you got you got your life full. Yeah, I mean, um, I did have to grow up really quick. But I do have like, you know, my parents helped me out a lot and stuff like that. And I, at times it's difficult because, you know, I'm out training and I only I get to drop him off at school and then I come home pretty late. So I see him right before bed. So training does cut into a lot of that time because like my gym's also an hour away. So oh, I go, really? I leave, I go to the gym and then I don't come back till later at night because it doesn't pay to come back and, you know, back and forth. But, uh, you know, it does cut into a lot of time, but I feel like in the end, it'll, you know, it'll be worth it. And, you know, I'll have more time with him and he'll see like the hard work that goes into the sport and, you know, what I did to make it where I am. Oh, absolutely. And come on, tell me that, uh, you know, Holden, uh, he, you know, he's at the bus stop and, you know, you know, kids, you know, with bullying and social media, they're getting picked on. He goes, hey, my mom can kick your mom's butt like that. that that's a true <laughs> statement. You know what I mean? He's definitely got that in his back pocket. So I don't think uh, he's going to get picked on any time, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we're here. We're talking with Macy Brew. Um, uh, MMA debut 2016. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And I looked at also your phenomenal boxer. Uh, was it boxing first and then you kind of fell into mixed martial arts or was it MMA first? How did this, uh, you know, the MMA slash boxing happen? So it's a pretty uh, interesting story. Um, I actually always wanted to, you know, do boxing, get into the sport. When I finally got into it, I actually jumped into everything all at once. And uh, my first coach was actually a promoter. So um, that's usually good to have (laughs) doing a boxing match first. Okay. Of course, you know, just to get the feel of things. Um, The goal was MMA. But um, what happened? He had a card that was together. And uh, I was only training for like two months. And a girl's opponent fell through. And he's like, hey, do you want to do an exhibition match? And I was like, yeah, let's go for it. And from then on, like, I finished, uh, it was the first round, I think, a rear neck choke that I had finished her with. And I was like, man, I want to do this, like, forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it's, MMA and boxing kind of started almost at the same time? Yes, MMA, boxing, and all, jiu-jitsu, all right. at the same time. That's awesome. And it's kind of funny, I saw that you fought uh, Kayla Haracha as well in the past. Uh, now you're fighting yes. Taylor White, December 21st. And all three of you, to me, have this really great boxing background. It's, um, you know, your hands. And it's just the evolution of female MMA. And we'll definitely get into more uh, female MMA, UFC, all that stuff coming up. But it's, uh, you know, you guys, you know, with your hands and letting your hands go with that boxing background first, uh, all three of you have just endless potential, uh, you know, superstars in the making. I cannot wait. So, um, you know, how did the Kayla Haracha fight come about and how did that go for you? Um, we were actually supposed to fight a few months before that. And, um, same thing. I had made it to weigh-ins and her fight, her flight had, uh, got delayed. Oh my goodness. So they weren't a- able to make it. So I had cut the weight, everything. Uh, then we had rescheduled it. 
And um, I was actually transitioning with uh, fight camps and stuff like that. Uh, that fight was, you know, really tough, really good fight. And uh, I think it was a split decision for that one. I felt like I had it. But um, looking back at it, I feel like now I have the, you know, the, I didn't have the tools I needed to completely, you know. Right. And in the judge's decision. And uh, I talk about this all the time. We talk to so many fighters here on the show, uh, you know, main event in UFCs all the way down to amateur level and everything in between. It, it, for you as an amateur to have that fight, uh, to go 15 minutes with Kayla Haracha is like a feather in your cap. Uh, you know, you're going to turn pro 2020, 2021, whatever it is, right? And boom, you mm -hmm. start zero, zero. And all that is you have this grit behind you. You have all this time and you have stuff in the in the shed that other female fighters don't have. And now Taylor White, she's another one. She is a button superstar mm -hmm. in the game. And now for you to have, you know, the opponents that you've had at the amateur level to me is like, it's that's awesome. That's I for one, tip my hat to you. And two, it's just it's great to have all this experience and, yeah, when you turn pro, you're just going to be a step above, you know, the females that you're going to be fighting. Right. That's why I like amateur. You know, it's all about figuring everything out. Like, I've I've been in all of the weight classes from, like, 140 down to 115 for boxing and MMA. Just trying to figure it out, figure out where I'm comfortable and, you know, having challenging opponents just to, you know, figure out my game, figure out my holes, what I need to fix, you know, things like that. Absolutely. Uh, guys, we're talking to Macy bro. Follow her on MMA underscore Macy bro on Instagram. Uh, another picture right before the podcast. Uh, I saw you. Like, everyone's putting out those pictures, like the decade pictures from 10 years ago and now. And I saw one of you. You're like how you were 10 years ago and how you were a couple years ago. And, how you know, now you're like, hey, I'm so muscular. And I was like, yeah. man. And you just said all those weight classes. Is 115, is this – you found it? Is this your home? Is this where you want to be going future and when you turn pro? Yes, now that I got like you know everything with nutrition, I have my weight figured out for sure. Yeah, and you got the best meal prep uh, in the game, so you got them helping you. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, we're so excited. December twenty first, Island Fight sixty one. It's going down. Um, Macy Bro versus Taylor White. Just that's a uh, a fight. A year or two from now, we're gonna be like, really? That happened on the amateur level <laughs> at Island Fights? That's insane. Um, one fight that just got announced a couple you know hours ago, days ago, and I would love your take on it. Uh, UFC championship fight, uh, you want a JJ check, um, one of our personal favorites here, Fight Bananas versus Jung Wei Lee, who's just like this. She's a monster. She's just insane, mm -hmm. walks right through um, all of her opponents. Uh, that's for the Strawweight Championship. Um, who do you see winning that fight? Oh, man. Um, my heart is really with Joanna. You know, uh, right. of course, you know, want her to win, want her to get the belt back, everything, but. I think it's going to be a really tough fight. Very. Uh, it's And the, the whole Thanksgiving week, uh, Cowboy Cerrone versus uh, Conor McGregor, Habib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson, John Jones is fighting. Is there one of those fights that kind of like hit you like, oh, my goodness, I can't wait. I'll be at the couch or at the uh, sports pub uh, watching that fight. Oh, man. I mean, all of them. I mean, <laughs> I really I, I love Tony Ferguson. I mean, he's just wild, crazy, you know, Um, but McGregor and. Dad Cerrone, you know, Dad Cerrone's a whole nother fighter now. <laughs> wait, 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 Dad Cerrone. We've been calling that on Fightin' Ass for the last year. We love Dad Cerrone. We've uh, coined, oh, yeah. we've coined that one for sure. That's oh, I can't yeah. wait for that fight. And I think people for sure, I think they're underestimating uh, Dad Cerrone right now. He fought his last two fights was literally Tony Ferguson and Justin Gaethje, who are just savages. And yeah, they didn't go his way, but that's cowboy. That's he fights anyone, right. anytime. Uh, fought them both, kind of with not enough time, not a great training camp, and you know went in there and did his best. So I think he's been off for a little bit, probably for him too long in a way. I think him versus right. Connor is more of an interesting fight than people are talking about because Connor hasn't been in yeah. that cage in a minute. It's been a while yeah. since Connor's fought. So um, who's your who is your all time favorite uh, UFC or combat sports fighter? Ooh, um, let's see. That's a tough one. <laughs> it could be I male. I don't female. think I have. I don't. I don't think I have a favorite. No. No. Um, like right now in the female, like our uh, Amanda Nunes, she's fighting GDR on uh, UFC 245. Uh, I'm a big fan of Amanda Nunes. Same thing. She oh, just yeah. walks through people to be a champ, champ in two different weight classes. That's just amazing stuff. Uh, who do you have in that one? Uh, Amanda, for sure. For Amanda, sure. for sure. I mean, just seeing what she did to Cyborg and 
all that, you know. Right. Um, and okay, so we'll kind of wrap it up here. Uh, you know, people that haven't seen you for, you know, fighting under Cage Warrior or, you know, Empire, and now you're fighting for Island Fights. If this is like the first time about to see you, uh, what can they expect from you? You know, what's like, is it, is it, you know, with that little bit of the boxing, it, would you love standing and banging? Uh, you know, a lot of fighters love that. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they want to get in and get out as quick as possible. Uh, some fighters want to take it to the ground. What is, you know, your, you know, the bro style? What's, you know, if you had to put a fingertip on it or a couple words on it, and what do you expect that's going to happen on the 21st? Um, at, at amateur level, you know, I like to test myself. So, I mean... You know, there is, you know, things that I could do, you know, to have the advantage. But I'm like, you know what? She's a good boxer. I'm a good boxer. Let's, let's, you know, box it out. Hey, if it has to go to the ground, I'm a purple belt. I feel confident there. But, you know, I, I really do love to stand up. You know, if I can't keep the fight standing, I, I love to keep the fight standing. For sure. Promoters love it. Uh, Dana White loves it. Uh, it's, uh, they love, you know, it, not even just knockouts. They love wars. You know, they love clean strikes. They love jabs. And, you know, it, mm-hmm. it's definitely more exciting for the fans. And if the fans are happy and they're paying, uh, they're definitely going to come back and see uh, Macy Bro. So they're uh, we're so excited here. Fight Bananas. December 21st, Island Fight 61. Uh, you versus Taylor White. It's going to be a tremendous fight. Um, you know, just continue success to you, Macy. Uh, you know, we'll give you the floor. If there's any kind of social media plugs or, you know, Macy's meal org, anything of that nature, or any of your team, uh, you know, take it away. Um, that's about it. Uh, Instagram, MMA underscore Macy bro. And then, uh, Twitter, um, uh, it's bro at B R E A U X Macy. And that's about it. Very cool. Very cool. Well, we'll definitely we'll send people your way. Um, like we said, we're very excited. We can't wait. Island Fight 61, uh, you know, hopefully a healthy month for you, Macy. And we'll talk to you very, very soon. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. All right, guys. That was Macy, bro. Uh, great interview. Um, continued success to her. Cannot wait. Guys, that's going down. That's uh, December 21st, Pensacola Beach, Florida. Man, Island Fight 61. And uh, one thing we definitely talked about, and uh, hey, before we get into that, let's give some love to our sponsors. I'm talking about Fusion CBD products. I use that rub all the, just daily. I use the rub daily. And of course, the Fusion Coffee Beans. Um, can't live without it. That's, you know, just, it's, uh, I don't know how I made it through 35 years of life without Fusion CBD products. Also, guys, Warhammer Fightwear. Check them out on their website, warhammerfightwear.com. Great stuff, guys. I have the t-shirts. My wife has the leggings. They got stuff for kids. Warhammerfightwear.com. Uh, Jessica Blackwood, uh, Black Widow Borga is a part of them. Just a really, really good company. Um, you know, definitely show them some love, guys. They have a lot of MMA content, uh, hash guards, and just leggings for the females, uh, yeah, maybe Macy Bro wearing some uh, Warhammer Fightwear stuff down there to Pensacola. Maybe we got to make that happen. Um, but guys, you want a JJ check, and so this fight's finally going to happen. UFC 248. Uh, we've talked to uh, to me. It's the best female fight they can make. Period. Any organization, PFL, Bellator, UFC. This is it. And uh, Amanda Nunes versus anyone. Yeah, there's great fights to be had. I can't wait to see what Macy Barber does. You know us. We're big fans of Jillian Savage Robertson. There's just so many. But this is it. Yoana JJ Check versus Jung Wei Lee. Like, this is the fight of the year in the female uh, division. This is for the strawweight strap. UFC 248. So, and uh, just right off the bat, this is what people do. They overreact to it. And they kind of, seems like... One side gets the the love right away. One side's like, oh, wow, they're going to win. And it seems like um, Wei Li is the favorite. I'm like, okay, you know, I can see that. She's a monster. Uh, she's, she's incredible. She's walking through her opponents on the highest of highs levels. She's 20 and 1. And we said it here in the Fight Bananas. We put on the Instagram, Fight Bananas Official. We put up one of those stories and said, oh, She's going to be a future champion. This was like her first fight ever in the UFC. I believe it was like UFC 227. Uh, man, if I get that right, just definitely map check me on that one. <laughs> but um, uh, I just thought she had this potential that we haven't seen in the strawweight division in a long, long time. She lost her very first fight. She's won 20 in a row, but 
However, you know, it's like when you all do respect, Joanna J. Chechik is just the greatest female strawweight fighter in the history of the sport. Any organization, she's it. I have Joanna on such a Mount Rushmore female level, what she's done throughout the years in the UFC, her fighting style, her mental uh, gain that she does, weigh-ins, pre-weigh-ins, post-weigh-ins, you know, her wins against Michelle Waterson, Tisha Torres, um, just can go on and on. Uh, she had this run in the UFC. It was a five, six fight win streak when every, you know, they called her Yuana champion. So, uh, Thug Rose was definitely a thorn in her side. You like that? That's why I get paid the big bucks, guys. Thug Rose, thorn. Okay, there you go. Um, you know, sometimes some, uh, the professor John Rafford has taught me that some people in life in the fight game just, have their number. They 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 have their number. They punch their card. And Thug has Ioannis. Uh She fought Valentina. You know, I just think that wasn't her weight class. But when just to see her, Michelle Waterson, I was like, oh, Ioana's back. She's down there in American Top Team, the best female camp in the sport. Kayla Harrison, Kayla Haracha, um, Jillian the Savage Robertson. Uh, Valerie's down there. It's just, it, I can, there's 20. Um, it's insane. Um, psh, it's the best female camp, bar none. But guys, you want a JJ check? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she pulls off the upset. I think I'm leaning towards you, Juana. And I know we're a couple months away. And I know there's so many fights out there. Cowboy Cerrone versus Connor. We got Tony versus Habib. And there's so much to talk about. John Jones versus the undefeated devastator, Dominic Reyes. But this Jung Wei Lee versus Yuana JJ check, I love it. I cannot wait. UFC 248, and I cannot wait to Island Fight 61, December 21st. Macy Bro versus Taylor, the next big thing, White. Wow, that is a fight we're going to tell. Telling you, it's just one of those fights that happens regionally. Uh, once a quarter, once a half a year, like, oh, guys, this fight was here? Because uh, they're going to be fighting on the UFCs and uh, big organizations, 1FCs, Bellator, all this stuff. Y'all, these are two big names we'll see in the future. Uh, I love Macy Bro's story. Uh, having a 10-year-old son, it's just amazing. The meal prep, um, just a big fan. Um, really big fan of Macy Bro. I cannot wait. December 21st, Island Fight 61. There you go. I just, uh, we can't wait. Fight Bananas. Guys, check out Fight Bananas on Twitter. Uh, like us on Facebook. Dude, like the uh, like thing. Uh, always, always. Always subscribe to the Fight Bananas YouTube channel. We just got tons of content. UFC 245 breakdown. Jacob Killer, Killer Burn. Broke the news on the Fight Bananas YouTube channels. So many podcasts. We have so much content coming out. Uh, Just great stuff, guys. Thank you so much to Macy. Follow her on the Instagram at MMA underscore Macy Bro. And uh, guys, be safe out there. Have a great holiday season. Continue success to the world. Continue blessings. Fight Bananas. We'll talk to everyone real soon.